All right. It's got a little, I got a background noise today, so that'll be in the video. I hope you guys like that. Hey, so let's talk about something. First off, who asked this question? Well, Chris, Josh Lee asked, someone posted 10 weeks ago about a 12 point solar panel inspection. Can someone please send me a message with it? Thank you. So he wants to know uh, about a 12 point inspection, 15 point inspection. An inspection? A visual inspection. So let's talk about a visual inspection. The visual inspection actually stems from a 25 point visual inspection. A 25 point visual inspection. Or rather, it was just a visual inspection that came from my years of cleaning um, school solar panels. But basically, when it comes to a visual inspection, we're checking out the solar panels and we're looking for a few things for uh, um, we're checking out the panels to see if there's any degradation in any of the wiring so let's go quickly through a visual inspection that you should be doing with your residential customers so first off when you get to a appointment you want to go ahead and take your before and after photos okay and with the before and after photos you want to take one away up close and then also you know take one along the ridge you know taking this one right here that's right along here this is where the dirt collects so you want to get these all right cleaners if you like the video that you're watching hit that subscribe button hit that like button and of course share this video while you're at it why don't you go ahead and visit us on facebook.com backslash groups backslash solar panel cleaning friends Come over and join us as we discuss the best ways to clean solar panels, new methods, tips, tricks, and advice. We'll see you there. All right, so we're looking at everything on here. We're going ahead and we're checking out everything on here and seeing exactly what these bad boys look up at the top. You know, are we seeing anything that is indicative that, of uh, need for bird proofing? I'm not seeing anything like that. So we're looking pretty good on the top part of it. There's a lot of spy, uh, spider webs, so that's not really doing anything. That just comes off with the cleaning, so we're all good. Next, we'll go ahead and take a look underneath these solar panels. And just look in to make sure that there is no broken clamps. If there's any kind of uh, these clamps here we can fix. It looks like we're all good on this one. Everything looks beautiful. This is a good one. There's some spider webs going on underneath here, but I think we're all fine. Okay, cleaners, this is Solar Panel Cleaning Friends Residential Solar Panel Cleaning Report. Essentially, this is what we use for our visual inspections. Uh, let's go over this together. You can find a link for this in the description for this video for a free download of this residential solar panel cleaning report, and you can use this while you're out on your residential routes. All right, to start with, we have the customer information boxes. You fill out the name, phone number, address, and customer type. This is very important. Uh, adding whether it, it's repeat or a new customer. Um, and finally, the suggested cleaning months. This is gonna be good for you to keep in your records to go back on, um, to look at this customer for when you're gonna be doing your text blast or your email blast and uh, anything like that. And if you want in more information about that, you can go ahead in the description. There is a video about contacting customers, text blast, and emails. Uh, and all that kind of good stuff. But after we have all that filled out, we start our visual inspection of our customer's solar panels. All right, to start off here, the first one we have panel mounting clips. With this one, we're just doing a glance over the solar panel array, looking for any missing or out of place clips. We can also take note of any loose clips we find while cleaning. Next on the list are solar panel ground clips. Are there any loose, broken, rusted, or displaced solar panel clips? Really, really simple. Same with the next one, solar panel ground wiring. Uh, again, we're just looking to see if there are any loose, broken, or rusted, uh, or displaced solar panel ground wires. Next on the list, we have DC string wiring. Running along the top of the underside of the solar panels and connects the solar panels all together, you will find the DC string wiring. Usually you will see it zip tied to the frame. Are there any zip ties broken? Can you replace them? 
I always carry zip ties or spare zip ties with me in my work van. Um, we also are looking to see if there are any of these um, are disconnected or damaged. Next thing we're going to be looking at is the DC combiner boxes. Again, this is a visual inspection for residential cleaners. So with this, we are just looking for any deterioration, rust, damage, or displacement. After that, we are looking for bird nesting. If bird poop sits for too long, it can cause a reduction in energy output and can lead to undesired outcomes. Um, so if you find any bird nesting or excessive bird poop on, on or around your customer's solar panels, you may want to suggest bird proofing, which is an upsell for you. Shading or infiltration from nearby trees, shrubs, or weeds. Glance around and look for any trees that may be casting shadows over solar panels. This can cause a reduction in energy output. Uh, for ground mount solar panels, you will want to take note of any shrubs or weeds overgrowing on or around solar panels. Next on the list is broken solar panels, the most important bullet point on our list. Cleaners, before you get out there and you're cleaning, it is highly important to do a visual inspection for any broken solar panels. You never, ever, 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 ever want to clean broken solar panels. Getting towards the end, we want to make sure that all of the above have been inspected for any damage, rust, missing labels, clips, wire chafing, deterioration, hanging wires, water infiltration, miscellaneous structural damage, problems, etc. Just basically making sure that we have checked everything on this list for any of the different types of problems that we would want to report to our customers. Did you find anything else while inspecting? Did you find any dead animals, micro fracture cracks, paint overspray, hard water buildup, or any other damage? This is where you want to go ahead and put that information so that you can report it to your customer. In addition to doing a visual inspection of your customer's solar panels, you may want to check the following. Rain gutters, skylights, chimneys, roofs, house walls, and dryer vents. All right, so anyways, that is a visual inspection. But basically, it's a visual inspection. And you're just looking to make sure that everything is all good and that the uh, solar panels are beautiful. There is no deterioration of any of the wires. Yeah, that's it. That's a visual inspection.